Hey traders, John Howell here. I've been getting a lot of people talking about the crypto market um, and a few people that I'm sort of semi-close with and they keep thinking that there is no way that the Bitcoin and the, and the crypto market can keep going down. Same with the stock market, right? People can't think it keep, can keep going down. I've actually been doing some really long-term analysis on the, on, on the stock market and man, it's actually not looking too good as in like, looks like we have a lot more downside to come overall on the actual stock market itself. But I'll actually do a video tomorrow on that. Today's video, I wanna focus mainly on the crypto market and share with you some things that I'm seeing right now and and how maybe some of you may be making some of the biggest mistakes of your life because of the way you're approaching these markets. And I wanna really, my goal here in this video is just to really help you and educate you uh, with your trading and also share some stories with you that has that I've also made a lot of made a lot of mistakes in my trading past as well too. So let's get straight, let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, before we get started, um, obviously if you really need a lot of help with your trading, maybe with your foundations or you're making a lot of mistakes and you're not sure what they are, or the chart reading or the trading systems, I'm actually giving away free access to my trading course. Uh, so there should be a very first link in the description. Click on that, you can get free access to that. So I wanna talk about this, uh, this, this crypto market here, okay? And I wanna to talk to you about not just the crypto market, but how all markets work in general. And so one of the biggest mistakes that, that we all make, and I've made this mistake a few times in my entire trading career. I've been trading now for 20, oh, 20, no. 20, I was going to say 28 years, no, 18 years. I've been trading the markets now for 18 years. And the one of the biggest mistakes that I've made a few times in my career is being so, what they call dogmatic about how something cannot happen. This cannot happen, that cannot happen. No way this can happen. Oh my goodness, we we would have to have something really bad for that to happen, et cetera, et cetera. We have all these fundamental reasons why something cannot happen. And the reasons why I was saying that, um, a, a true story is um, I was actually short the stock market when Donald Trump became elected as president. Um, and I won't go into the full story of that. I did I did a video a while ago, or a few days ago, should I say, maybe about a week ago um, on that. And the short version of that is that the market, the actual, the, the market itself, and this is where we go from, oh my goodness, this cannot happen to like what is the actual market telling us and because that, that's that's the only thing that matters right it's like it's it's what the market is actually telling us and and are we listening to the market are we, are we respecting the market or are we just trying to um trade based off our egos right our egos and so on and so forth and a lot of the times when i had especially when i had a really large position size on um it was it was something really 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 big that it was something really big that um, that um, I just didn't want to. Be, I just didn't want to be wrong, and so therefore I kept having a losing and losing and losing position, like in a really big position. There, I always wanted to be right in the markets, um, and so therefore I wouldn't listen to the markets, but I would just I would only go based off my own ego, and I was saying there's no way this can happen, right? And so what, what, what I'm doing there is I'm doing a big mistake because I'm trading the markets based off a fundamental or a thought or there's no way this can happen. Yet, if we actually listen to the markets of how the markets work, the markets are telling us what's actually going on and what's, what's, actually, what's actually happening and the probability of certain things happening in the markets, okay? So I bring that up because I actually did, I, I did the same thing when Donald Trump became elected. The market was saying, hey, we're actually prob there's a high probability, the pattern that it created, there's a high probability we're gonna start at least a six to 12 month bull run when Donald Trump became elected. That's what the market was saying, but the herd mentality, everyone else was saying, no, it's gonna crash, oh my goodness, blah, blah, blah. Robert Kizaki, Donald, uh, uh, Harry Danton, Peter Schiff, and you name it, right? They all came out and they said that. A big, a big lesson I learned back there for myself is that, Always listen to the market. It's, it's not about even, it's not even about me. I'm just the messenger, right? I'm the, I'm the messenger. <laughs> I'm the messenger of the market. And so, there are certain patterns that that the market gives you here. And uh, a lot of people have been saying when it comes even to Bitcoin, right? A lot of people saying, and I've heard this a few times, like there's no way that Bitcoin is going to get down to ten thousand. Are you serious? <laughs> Why can it not go to ten thousand or even five thousand? That's fi that, that that drop there. Look look how far it's actually come down. Oh, it can't go any lower. Um, this is going to be the bottom. Come on, let's actually let's <laughs> right now. Now you're guessing. Now you're guessing. Right, you're you're actually you're fighting the market. 
What is the market telling us? The market, right? Remember, remember who, what's the only thing that's right in the market? The market, right? Not what you think. Oh, I think we're going to find a bottom here real soon. No. Where, where are you getting that? Where are you getting the information from? Right? Does uh, What is a bottom in the market? What is, the, the market comes down, 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 and then we find a what? And then we find... Then we find a bottom, and then we start a new upward trend. What is an what is an upward what is a bottom in the markets, and what is an upward trend? Well, a bottom in the market simply says it comes down, comes down, comes down, and then guess what? Then we start to slowly, then we start to stay a bit of a bull market, right? We go from downward trend to upward trend. I know this is really simple. You may have heard this analysis before, but this is the only thing that matters. And some of you guys. Right, some of you guys right now are in in the involved involved the markets where you are simply um, how do I say you're hoping and praying that this is going to be the bottom. When if we just be realistic about what the market is telling us right now, there is a capitulation that is coming. Okay, there is a capit there is a abs- there's a crypto collapse. Let's actually call it the what quadruple C, crypto capitulation collapse coming. The 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 quadruple C. Is that a quadruple C? And it's going to get much, much, much more uglier, right? There's going to be a washing away effect. Look at it from a technical level, but then if even if I bring you back to, we look at it from, from a historical point of view over the last hundred years, right? And I go, I go back to the, to, the, to, to the last great invention. What was that? It was the tech market, right? It was the internet days. What happened with the internet? Again, we're referring to that because that was the latest, greatest inter- invention, right? Yes, I believe the crypto market and the blockchain market is going to be a major part of our life, but maybe at the end of this decade and maybe 10, 20 years from now, that's what's going to happen, right? But a lot of people a lot of people saying, well, John, it can't keep going down. Well, it can, right? From a technical point of view, look what the actual, look, look what the market's actually doing here. What are we doing? Very, 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 very simple. High, lower high, and a lower high, right? We've got we're massive downward trend. I can't keep going lower. Yes, it can, right? And we can keep going lower. Um, and there's probably going to be a capitulation washout effect. And why do I say that? Well, again, what tends to happen with these new inventions, if you actually study history on these new inventions, um, there's there's the big craze, right? The big craze. We got, we, we got the big craze with the crypto market and just like with the just like the dot com boom, if I actually go to the, I'm just looking for my Nasdaq chart. All right, if I go to the Nasdaq chart, and I bring up my monthly chart here for a minute, let's um, and I'm going to go back to the the, the dot com days, and I want to share this with you. Okay, let me actually bring up this chart back here, and let me actually just take all the. And I want to share this with you because I believe this is again. If we if we want to look at like how things work, just look at look look at the way how things work. look at the, like how the markets work. Let's actually be here. Um, and again, you may be in the same situation, and you're probably going to say, "John, you're an idiot. You have no idea what you're talking about. This is different this time." Okay, all right. Same things happen time and time and time again, guys. And you can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. I'm going to say that again, especially some of you guys who I know who, who who you're probably watching this right now, who know who I'm talking about. You can ignore the reality of the situation, but you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. When Donald Trump was elected and I was short um, a lot of money, um, I was ignoring the reality of the situation. And the reality of the situation was I wasn't actually seeing it for what it really was. I was seeing it for what I wanted to see it as. And therefore, I actually got smacked quite hard from that. Right back, you know, what's that five? What's that five years ago now? Was that 2016? So what's that? What's that 16? Yeah, about four or five years ago. Like, um, yeah, whatever. So the whole purpose of me saying that is that if you look at most bubbles, and this is actually something really interesting, most bubbles out there, when we see very big vertical bubbles, we tend to get what? We tend to get a retracement back down to where, wherever that, wherever we wherever we started the bubble, we tend to what? make our way back down to where the bubble started. Actually, no, I'll, I'll do a video tomorrow on this, but go check the stock market on a weekly or monthly charts. You check the stock market, the S&P and Dow Jones, and that's where you'll, say, that's where you'll, see, that you'll, you'll see what I'm saying there about it. Ooh, isn't that pretty interesting? Um, again, go back and study, study the bubble. Study the 1929 bubble, started the 2008 bubble. You'll see whenever we're vertical, we actually retrace 100% of it. 
So well, yes, it can happen, right? But then what tends to happen? The, what was what? But what was this? This was what the dot com boom and bust. What are we getting right? And what was this? This was the oh the new invention, the internet days, right? And then the internet came out, and then everyone there was thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of what companies out there that or that were with that were in line with the dot com and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right, that was the new invention that became a major part of our life. But it became a major part of our life not then when the bubble was happening, but it became a major part of our life, you know, 10, 20 years later. So yes, the, the blockchain is gonna become a major part of our life somehow, some shape or form. Okay. So we end up getting what we end up getting a hundred percent retracement. And then guess what happened? And this is probably what's gonna happen. Through here, what do we get here? And depending on what type of crypto as you happen, guess what's guess what happened through here? We got what? The the the, the washing away effect. Um, what's that? 95 to 98% of the companies got destroyed. The the internet fake companies got destroyed from there. And then there's only a few left standing. And then the few left standing is what we see today, right? Yeah, you know, we see a lot of things that that came from this. So there's only a few percent of the actual cryptos out there that are going to be left standing and the rest are going to get destroyed in this in this collapse. It's just it's just a history repeating itself, guys. It's nothing new. And all we can do is, and if we want to see how things are likely to move forward, just look at similar situations, right? The further we look in the past, the further we can look in the, in the future. And this would be really simple about this. Um, for me personally, yes, I do see there's going to be, I, I do see crypto is going to be a major part of our life, but... Not now. We still have a lot more capitulation to go to to wash away all those barge ass. Like everyone last, everyone last year was coming up with their own digital, own cryptocurrency. Oh, I'm going to create my own cryptocurrency, and we're gonna we're gonna go away from the government. What a load of shit, right? The government watches everything. What do you think the blockchain is? <laughs> it shows everything, every every single thing that actually happens, right? <laughs> it's, it's like. We're gonna get away from the, the 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 government, so so we can we can we can we can not be part of the government system, you know, and 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 so on and so forth. Well, do you actually realize that's what the blockchain is? The blockchain is actually shows every single step that you do when it comes to that sort of stuff. It shows you everything. It's on the blockchain, so you're more transparent with doing that than cash or whatever, right? And the government, all that the government has to do is log into that and then see. It's like it's oxymoron. It's like people jump in these crypto craze because they want to be, you know, off the grid and all that sort of stuff. But then, but when the government logs into the crypto with blockchain and they can do whatever they want, they can see exactly what you've been doing because it leaves the footprint of everything that happens. <laughs> anyway, I won't get too much into that. But look what happened through here. We spent what well, after the after the the, the the ultimate massive boom and then the collapse. What did we get? We got what? We had an over 10 years. We had 10 years of doing nothing and then we what? Then we started the next ho hooray, right? The next hooray in the actual stock market. And then now the actual stock market's coming down through here. So, oh, by the way, remember I said before that bubbles retrace, right? 100%. That's where, that's, that's, that's where this bubble actually started on the, te on the tech sector. I'm not saying it's going to do that, but... There might be a 7,000 target coming on the actual stock market. That's the Dow Jones, the, the NASDAQ there. Okay, so um, the purpose of me telling you that is that if we actually go look back back at Bitcoin, where did the bubble start? The bubble started back here, right back here at say 4,000. Maybe even if you want to be, 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 you know, again, if you just look at all bubbles, right? Just even look look at the last bubble here, right? When did it go vertical? When did, when did, we, when did we go vertical? Right here. And then what happened? Hwakajing, and then boom, look what happened. We retraced 100% of where it went vertical. Where are we right now, right? Where did it go vertical? It went vertical there, right? So what's what's likely to happen? We're likely to retrace that 100%. It's just just the way the market works, right? It's, it's history repeating itself. Now, you can, if you're buying this right now, hoping and praying, again, I hope you can see what I'm saying there, that there's going to be, there's going to be a capitulation in this market. There's going to be a, a like the, the news that we've been seeing from some of these large companies in the crypto market, that's just the start. There's going to be a really big bang that's going to come in the market. I'm excited about that. Why? Because I'm looking for really good shorting opportunities. Why? Well, because that's what the market's telling us. And let, let me share with you here, right? So I'm, um, I've made a lot of money shorting Bitcoin instead of buying Bitcoin. You know, if you can short Bitcoin, then 
then why not actually benefit from the actual market going down? And I, look at this here. I want to share something with you here, right? Look at this here. So the market was what? The market's gone down high, lower high, lower high. See how we're going sideways overall, not really much going on. Let me let me, let me show you this here. Let me let's go back to the to the, to the last boom and bust back back through here. I want to show you this here. Look at this here. I actually made a lot of money shorting Bitcoin through here. Look at this. What do we have here? We have what? We have a high, lower high, lower high. Not much going on for a long time, right? So we have lower highs and then a period of sideways movement and then a large breakout candle and then look what happened. We had a what? We had a move from say 6,800 6, down to, I think it was, where is that around? Around that through there. So that was overall from there to there. Oh, Bitcoin can't go lower. And then it has what? An over 50% move on the downside. It's like, I can't go lower, I can't go lower. But look at, the, look at this pattern here. High, lower high, lower high, not doing much. And then we get a large bar breakdown and then we start another big move down. Let's go back to where we are right now. Oh, look at this here. Oh, very, very, doing the exact same thing. High, lower high, lower high, lower high. Overall sideways movement. So if we do get a large bar breaker down, hmm, oh, but there's no way that can happen, John. There's no way that can happen. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Really? <laughs> I guarantee you said the same thing all the way down, hoping and praying, hoping and praying. And then you say the words, oh, well, I'm just gonna hold on to it because surely it's gonna bounce back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh-huh, right? No, no, why are you doing that for? Why, why not just get out of the, why not get out and then look for good shorting opportunities? Right, so when I look at that same pattern, I'm looking at things like, like look at this, look at this here, look at Cardano. Cardano is setting up beautiful, beautiful, right? Same, look at this here, this looks exactly the same. High, lower, high, lower, high, lower, high. Look at all this sideways movement. We get, a, I tell you what, Trace, we get a large candle breaking down through here, especially like on Cardano. Then where, where, where did Cardano start? Oh, look at this here. Where, where did the bubble start? Let's actually go to the weekly chart here. Where did, where did Cardano's bubble start? Oh, look back here. Oh, look, that's the actual next support line. So there's a high probability Cardano is gonna get down to $4, right? Now, again, it may it may not happen straight away. And yes, there is a possibility of actually this this going straight up. We can get like, we can get something like this. But if we've got something like that, it's probably gonna be a fake out and then away we go again. So instead of looking for, oh, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, why not just say, screw the, you know, screw what everyone else is saying. I'm just gonna to listen to the market because the market keeps going down. Why not make some money on the downside? I've made a lot of money on the downside. Same with Dogecoin. Where, where did Dogecoin go vertical? There. Yeah, what's that? Point, well, 33 cents. So if I look at Dogecoin, Dogecoin, <laughs> right? And I do the same thing. Look at this here. If we start to get a very strong bar breakdown, once again, we're probably gonna head down to here somewhere. Right, and maybe even a bit lower than that. For the 33 cents, it may be even actually lower than that. It may be even down through there. So it may be 20 cents I might get to. But if you can short the market, this is what you should be looking for, right? So these are these are, these are the cryptos I'm, I'm looking for right now. You know, and the same with Ethereum. Like Ethereum just keeps going down and down and down and down. This is a weekly chart once again. So there is a, I hope you get from, from a technical point of view, the market's saying, hey, we're going down. Don't care what you think or what you hope for. Um, and from an from an evolutionary point of view of how these technologies how the how the markets operate within these new um, major inventions that do impact our lives, how they are introdu introduced, the booms and bust cycles, what it, what tends to happen, um, and then yes, then maybe 10, 20 years. So probably by the end of this decade, you're probably going to see a lot of, and I mean by the end of this decade, right? It takes time, as you saw with 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 the with with the Nasdaq chart there. So. Tell you what, traders, there is going to be a massive, massive crypto capitulation collapse coming. Hey, traders, I'm giving away 100% free access to my brand new breakthrough full trading course. This is eight videos over 10 hours of pure, amazing and powerful strategies. This is my most powerful systems of strategies that I've used for the last 16 years, and I'm giving it away for free. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to johnsfreegift.com. Or well, there should be a link around here somewhere, a button or in the description or somewhere in there. Click on that and you can go get free access to my brand new 
uh, breakthrough trading course. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now, guys, and get full, complete, free membership access. Go to that right now. Thank you.